Um, I'm going to make a uh, little dish here. Uh, I'm going to make a pork tongue, uh, call it either a goulash or a stew. Basically a pork tongue that's going to be boiled and then boiled again in onions and tomato sauce. I went to a, um, uh, an ethnic grocery store and I purchased uh, three, three fresh pork tongues. Sorry, I can't seem to get the focus on this thing. But basically, it's a buck ninety-nine a pound, so it's two bucks a pound, and the total weight on this is uh, one point seven nine pounds. So each tongue weighs about uh, 0 0.6 pound, and basically, it's just a simple pork tongue that I'm going to boil in a small pot for about 15 minutes. Uh, when I did this before, I, I boiled it for about half an hour. That's overkill. I'm going to boil it for 15 minutes with pork tongue. You don't have to remove the outer uh, epidermal layer. Uh, in a beef tongue, you would have to do that because it's too tough and it's not edible. With pork tongue, you can simply cook the whole thing and don't worry about uh, taking off this layer. So I'm going to boil it for about 15 minutes. Then I'm going to take it off the heat. I'm going to put it in a plate and then I'm going to clean the pot because as you're boiling the pork tongue, you're going to get that foam uh, coming up around the top. You're going to scoop that away. And I'm going to let it rest for about 15 minutes. Then I'm going to take an onion, I'm going to chop it up, and I'm going to saute it for about five or so, or so minutes in the pot. Then I'm going to cut up the pork tongue in, in uh, pieces, small bite-sized pieces. I'm going to add in some tomato sauce or pasta sauce from the dollar store, uh, paprika, uh, some onion salt, uh, onion salt, and regular salt. And that's basically it. Uh, and I'm going to boil it for about half an hour and it will be done. And the whole idea with boiling it is simply to get the onion, the tomato sauce, the spices, everything in the pot, let it simmer for about half an hour at a medium heat, uh, and let it reduce. And then you'll have a pork tongue uh, goulash or stew. Uh, the meat will taste a lot like chicken gizzards. It'll have the same kind of toughness uh, and texture, but it'll be very good. Um, a lot of a lot of uh, Americans would not eat this, but you know I bought this. Uh, literally, it was like had been freshly prepared the day that I um, that I bought this. They had just put it out on the uh, on the um, display case. Uh, this is basically excellent quality pork for a buck ninety nine a pound. Uh, it'll take very little time to prepare this, and it's a pretty neat dish. So this is what it looks like. This is all I'm going to put in there. I'm going to eventually chop up an onion, put in some salt, paprika, onion salt, and uh, pasta sauce or tomato sauce from the uh, dollar store. Put in some more water, uh, let it simmer on a low heat, a medium heat, and let it reduce after about half an hour and you're done. And that's how easy it's going to be. And I'm going to be uh, showing you bit by bit, uh, but this won't take too long. I'll just show you the highlights. The, uh, the pork tongue has been submerged in uh, tap water and the heat is on high. Uh, once this comes to a roiling boil, I'll let it boil for 15 minutes. Uh, I'll be scooping up whatever foam comes off the top uh, and then I'll let the uh, meat rest. I did forget to say that I was going to also add some, um, after the, during the second part, I'm going to add some sliced uh, red bell pepper and also, of course, when I saute the onions, I'll need some olive oil. So I forgot about that, but uh, I'll show you when this thing comes to a boil. Okay, so the water is starting to come to a rolling boil. I'll actually have to take the temperature down a little bit because the water is going to basically spill over. I don't want that. As you can see, we got that foam, which is basically just protein that's coming off the, uh, the, the meat. Uh, you just scoop that off with a ladle. With a ladle, no problemo. Uh, and I'm going to set the timer for about 15 minutes. Last time I did this, a couple days ago, I boiled it for 30 minutes. I think that's too much. Anything less than 15 is probably not going to be enough. Uh, 15 should be okay. Uh, you know, play it by ear on your own based on your uh, oven, etc., etc. 15 minutes should be enough because then I'm going to let the meat rest for another 15 minutes. And then I'm going to basically boil it at a, at a medium heat uh, for 30 as the uh, to, uh, pa uh, tomato sauce, pasta sauce, the onions, everything reduces. So that's what it looks like. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to scoop this away and be back in about uh, 15 minutes. I just finished uh, boiling the pork tongue for 15 minutes. Um, took it out of the pot. This is what it looks like. Uh, basically, I'm going to let it rest 
for about 10 minutes. Let it cool for a little bit. Let, it, let the meat rest. And then I'm going to cut it into bite-sized pieces, thin, 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 but not too thin, not too thick, like this. Once that's done, I'm going to take my onions, my red pepper, some salt, olive oil. I'm going to put it and saute it for about five minutes in the same pot. I just, I just rinse this out. Uh, and then I'm going to put the uh, pork tongue slices in there along with uh, paprika, uh, onion salt, um, and pasta sauce. And, I'm, and then we'll send some water. And then I'm going, basically the water will cover uh, all the meat. Not to the top, but just enough to cover the meat. And then I'm going to let it simmer on a medium heat for half an hour. I'm literally, literally going to walk away once I do that, put the timer on for half an hour. And when I come back, the water will have reduced. It'll be a nice little, I call it the goulash or stew, whatever you want to call it. And it'll be ready to eat. Uh, the meat cooked just fine. I cut it up into uh, thin slices. Uh, it's cooked just fine. 15 minutes was plenty of time. Last time when I cooked this, I cooked it for half an hour. That was overkill. You could probably get away with uh, 10 minutes. But 15 minutes is what I cooked this uh, on a rolling boil and covered the pot. I've got the uh, onions, uh, red pepper strips, and some salt. And I'm uh, sauteing them. I'll do it for about 5 minutes. And then I'll pour in the, um, I'll put in all the ingredients. And I'll give you a little picture of that when I'm done. And then the final part will be uh, when the water will have reduced after about half an hour of uh, simmering at a medium heat. The onions have been sauteing. The onions and the uh, red pepper strips have been sauteing for about seven minutes. Uh, the onions have browned a little bit. I uh, had it on a, a medium heat, then a high heat, then a medium heat. Now I'm going to pour in the um, the meat. Meat is in. I'm going to pour in some uh, paprika. Not too much, but just enough. Also, um, I was told many years ago, never burn your paprika, or paprika, sorry, <laughs> mispronounced it. Let me get this onion salt open. Pour a little onion salt in there. Good taste. I'm going to put in six or seven tablespoons of uh, pasta sauce. Uh, for this, I'm going to have to put the camera down for a second. Bear with me. Sorry about that, but I only have two hands. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Good enough for government work. I'll show you in one second. Bear with me. Again, I apologize. There you go. So I put the uh, tomato sauce or pasta sauce. That was the final thing. Now I'm going to put water, enough water to cover the meat. Just enough water to cover the meat. Half water. And we're done. That's it. That's enough. That's enough. We're done. That's it. Put this on medium. Wait for it to uh, start uh, simmering. Once that happens, uh, set your timer for half an hour and walk away. That's all you have to do. All you're doing now, this is a waiting game for the uh, water to reduce and get a nice sauce on your uh, pork tongue. The consistency, the uh, it'll it'll taste it'll taste and feel like chicken gizzards. That's the best way that I can describe it. It's not it won't be tough, but it'll be a little bit chewy, uh, but different. I mean, how many Americans have pork tongue? Uh, or have ever had pork tongue. This is a very quick and easy. You don't have to peel the outer layer uh, of the skin of the tongue as you would with a beef tongue. Uh, the boiling time was 15 minutes. Uh, this I'm going to let simmer for half an hour. Again, we're just going to reduce reduce the water and get a nice sauce. And and that's that's it. That's how easy this is. And whether you want to call it a goulash or a, or a stew, it's up to you. Uh, I could have put in um, like a quarter cup of rice, long grain rice, or a quarter cup of uh, kasha. Actually, let me show you what I have. Hang on a second. I bought this from the same from the same uh, ethnic store. This is buckwheat, also known as kasha, and you see the grains there. Uh, you you cook this like rice. Uh, I I should put up a rice video, but I, I could put a quarter cup of rice or a quarter cup of this buckwheat or kasha in this and simply let it simmer for half an hour and it would be like a pilaf perhaps or close to it. 
uh, you could do that also. That's uh, something you could also try. Uh, I'm not going to do this. I'm going to just leave the, uh, the stew slash goulash as, as it is. Uh, again, when this comes to, uh, when I see it simmering a little bit, I'll put the timer on for half an hour. And when this is done, after the water has blood reduced, I'll come back for one final look. And we're done. And we're done. I let it uh, boil on a sort of a medium high-ish uh, heat uh, for half an hour. And boom, right on the button, it's done. It is done. Perfection. Don't be afraid to try different things, um, even weird esoteric kinds of food. And again, as I've said before on prior uh, cooking videos that I've posted to YouTube, uh, really the secret to great cooking is uh, uh, great quality ingredients, fresh ingredients, uh, and a little simplicity, a little cooking, and you're done. That's all it took. Yes, it's that simple. Good luck.